Hi, it's me again with Corolla All Tips and Tricks, and this is part four of this video. We're going to put in these lines. I don't know exactly. They're not touching this part. So what we need to do, in the previous video, I got rid of my line around this, but that circle is 4.414. I'm going to make a circle 4.414. Point five. Well, I don't have my number lot. Lot four point one five. Well, four point one five. And let's bring it over. And see if it's just a hair bigger. It's actually the same size. So let's hold down the shift key and just make it a little bit bigger. I'm just trying to give us a gap for these other lines to go to. Now, this is a little bit tricky, but I don't know how many there are. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 stars in that shape or lines in that shape. So we'll just have to do a... Maybe we'll do a blend. So let's tell you what, let's bring our uh, police badge back in and let's make a two point line from, we're actually gonna go past here to about there. Might as well make it better than that. Go from there and go past here and go from here. See, it's a little bit off sided. I'm gonna make it more even and by making it more even, we can hit the plus key on the keyboard and mirror it and put this badge like right there. See, there's a couple more line, and that could just be the way it traced. You know, you never know. Grab our badge with our little magic item. And really the best way to do this um, would probably be, there's several ways you could do it, but the, I think the best way to do it would be able to start from the center. So let's put an indexing line and hit that center. And really we're gonna to have to make sure this line goes to that center. So we're gonna take the shape tool and put that line in the center. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna forget the other aspect. Well, I wanna know how far that, well, we don't need it. We're gonna take this line and plus key and mirror it. By going right up here and mirror it. Then we can take that X and put it right on our nose. Now we need to take this line and control D and make a duplicate. Double click on it and change the rotation of there. And we're gonna just, we're gonna make up our own. He can, he can do whatever he wants to with it, but we're just gonna do it like this. Came out pretty good and pretty even. Now there's several ways to do this. I'm just gonna take the smart fill tool and cut away all those lines. And if you remember from the previous video, now that we've cut those lines apart, I think I can grab all our lines without grabbing, probably the oval's gonna come in part of our word. So we're gonna take our oval back, take our line back, take that line back, take that line back, and just put it back. If I would've grouped those together, um, that wouldn't have happened. Whoop. I got the, when I got the oval, I didn't, I didn't grab all the lines. So let's just kind of start over. That might not be the way to do it. Uh, let's do this first. Let's just take the smart field tool. Remember I went past the line. Um, we don't want the lines going through that part of the badge. Uh, we don't want it definitely going through there. We're going to get rid of most of the lines. Um, right off the bat, that line could stay. That line needs to move. And remember, if you if you if you draw a hairline um, and you engrave this, you won't have to worry about it marking it anyway because it's a vector line. We're going to go ahead and go through this, delete all those lines, and we could do this more or less the same way we did the other. But this is just as easy. 
Uh, all we want is that, like a star burst through there. We just don't want it in our other parts. I'm gonna leave that little line right there and that line, that line. Now, if you remember, I, I don't even know what size this line is, but we want it to engrave. So we need to, let's nudge that out of the way. We've still got parts of our, let's don't do that. Uh, I should have grouped the, the lines together. Uh, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna control D and make it, or hit the plus key and make a whole copy so I can't mess anything up. Some of you might be a little bit confused as I am, but let's take, parts of the parts that we want to keep and just nudge them out of the way. And you can see some lines that we probably need to get rid of anyway. These little bitty click lines, they need to be there. So I think we're good to go. We're going to, those lines aren't going to show up. Well, what I need to do is click on all these lines and go up to object and break the curve apart. And evidently I don't, well, maybe they're individual lines. Yeah. So I need to go on each line and break the curve apart. Cause if I delete that line, it's going to delete some of the other lines. So click on that line. If I would have grouped them together, I could have done this all at one time. I'm gonna leave everything else, but we need to get rid of the interior lines. So let's move those over. This one is still good, so I'm not worried about it. That's why I made a copy. So I'm gonna go, go through and break. And see this circle is, is keeping the lines off my subject. This might be a good case to use the alternate key. Hold down the alternate key and swipe through here and just do it multiple times. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it's so many lines and I could do, I could fill that in and do back minus front or weld that together and get rid of all these lines. But this just takes a little bit of time and, and uh, you know, it's no big deal anyway. The lines on top are a little easier. You know, matter of fact, we don't need that black line anymore, but I need it for a jut for a gauge. So my line will stop there. And you'll see in just a second how, how cool this is gonna be, or at least I hope. I hope it works out like I had planned. And if I would've done this off our page, we wouldn't have this problem. Now I need to get rid of all these lines, and this is really where I wish I would've grouped this together. But see, I'm now I'm getting rid of the whole line because I have not, um, I don't, we need that. There's probably 10 different ways to do this and I think I picked the least from favorite. Now, and also when you're ever clicking on something like that, it keeps going away, you can nudge that out of the way. But for just a second, we're almost through. Is by clicking on any part of the line, I'm deleting all the line. And we do not need this circle anymore. So now we're going to delete that circle. Now, hopefully, hopefully we can just nudge these lines over. I don't need this circle anymore. Let's see what this looks like. Cross our fingers. Looks pretty good. Now, since we've got them all selected, I'm gonna make it something other than a hairline. Move this out of the way so we can see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. Scale with object because it is a line. And it's, it's pretty close. Um, these lines don't go past there, but you can always uh, take the virtual segment delete key and delete that part, and delete that part. I missed a few lines, and I think I've got a double line right there on the red anyway. Yep, 
and see, you can see I've got an issue of a line there. And just kind of look over it, make sure you don't have any lines. Let's back up here. I'm hoping this isn't the first video somebody's watched of mine. They're going to go, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Let's, uh, let's bring this back in. That looks pretty good. We're actually going to make this other line thicker anyway, so it'll cover up those lines. Let's hold down the shift key and select that line, that line, that line. And let's go ahead and double click on it and make it that, let's make it a point and a half. So you can see I missed a line and go ahead and make it black and scale with object. That looks pretty good. I did not get these two lines. So hold down the shift key. So like those two lines, double click on your pen tool. I think we made it a point and a half. We made it in black and we scale with object. Scale with object, if you don't know what it is, it's just if I make this badge bigger or smaller later, it'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and draw this little town real quick and maybe we can wrap this up. I'm gonna nudge this back. The town is relatively pretty easy. It's just a couple of trees and a couple of lines. So we're gonna take a two point line and I'm actually gonna go all the way across, all the way across, all the way across. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and draw these lines. Some of them will have to delete. And if you held down the control button at this time, you'd be a lot better off. Let's take the rectangle tool and build a rectangle there. Let's see what that looks like. Let's take our whole drawing. So you can see my lines aren't straight because I wasn't holding down the control button, but we can very easily fix that by holding down the shape, hold the shape cool and just make it, make them even. And it is a, a kind of like a drawing. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect. Those lines don't go past that. Well, I can tell you what, I can get rid of this indexing line right now for a second. So we can kind of see these lines aren't in the middle. So we need to take our virtual segment delete key and delete these lines in the middle. I don't know what that line actually represent, but that's pretty close. Uh, we can grab all that. Tell you what, let's nudge it out of the way. Just make sure that's all we got, nothing else. Let's make them, um, I do have something else there. Let's zoom in here. See, I've got part of the name, but that's okay. We can just take that and just nudge it right back. Now let's make these a little bit thicker lines. We'll make them, we'll make them one and a half points. I don't know why that's there. I don't think we need it. Now we can nudge this back. Tell you what, let's group it together so we won't have any problems. And now let's draw some trees. Probably need to draw the flagpole. There's a couple of windows. It might be a, the courthouse, two point line, drag the flagpole. I'm gonna go and use the three point curve line to draw the flag from there to there and just give a little bit of tilt from there to there and give a little bit of a tilt and then go from node to node. Um, we can go and put in a couple windows there's actually a, probably another line here that I did not see at the first. I would just do this type of stuff. Uh, I don't know what those other things are. And I don't have to draw the entire thing, but the, the trees would be easy. You know, just take a, and then, and the badge is gonna be relatively small. Maybe take the freehand tool and just draw this tree. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a tree. You know, if you make this badge just a little bit, um, you know, it's only gonna be like probably three inches tall at the most. And I'm not gonna take a lot of time drawing this tree, but we'll put a few branches on it. You know, you're drawing with the freehand tool, so kind of move your hand around every once in a while. Try to go from node or the line at least when you, we do the branches. That way you won't have to interconnect them later.
See, I'm going from line to line. That looks pretty good. We could draw in that bush. Now, this is the real reason I put this box here so I can grab all that. Now we got, I didn't draw the other, real quick, draw the other limbs just to, so you can get an idea. Freehand tool, just go up the middle and draw some limb. Try to get on the line. And that's pretty good. And once again, move that out of the way. And for the person that I'm doing this for, uh, just take your time. I see I've still got those center lines, center dots, and just need to nudge them over. Let's make those lines on the tree a little bit thicker and also the windows and the flag. Let's make the, let's combine the flag with the shape tool. Not combine it, but join this. And you could do a lot better job on the flag than I did. Maybe even go and fill in the flag so it looks like a flag. Make the pole a little bit, maybe make it perpendicular by moving the shape tool. Double click on it, make it a point and a half. Make, uh, I did not scale with object. You need to remember to do that. Take all those lines. And you could have started drawing out it uh, that. I don't guess I got the trees. The trees don't look like they're, let's make them two point. Yeah, there we go. And if you just take your time and do that, look at there, folks. And there's a lot you could do with this. Um, let's take a smart tool or the shape tool and put these lines down in there a little further into the drawing. Cause then we could take the smart fill tool and set on a light, light gray, fill that in and go to object order, back a page, fill that in object order, back a page. And if you do it in a light, um, actually we need to fill that in too. And actually take away that part of the building, take this smart fill tool because the tree's gonna, the tree's hiding that. And then just take the smart fill tool and fill in that. We got a little leak. Um, let's take the shape tool. There's our leak right there. Let's try to grab just, tell you what, let me back up here. Let me back up from all the colors. Let's take our, get rid of that first. We shouldn't have a leak there. It really surprised me. I don't think think there is a leak and there wasn't. Order, back a page. Order, back a page. And if you took your time, that would look a lot better. I don't think there's anything else in the, you know, there's another bush. All right. I could call this quits because this is going to be the exact same thing. But I'm going to go ahead and finish it. And if, you don't, if you're not interested in this, just stop watching. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.